Yeah, like Black Mesa fucking extends on that. And we're hearing the voice of the Nihilanth now. And the Nihilanth is the final boss of the game, and he's just communicating with us telepathically. He doesn't like that we've come here, I guess. But yeah, like Black Mesa really made the Lambda Core. I think I I think I said before, but it made it more confusing and they actually made that portal part way longer. It made you wait longer. But anyways, now we're in Zen and Hmm Looks okay. They, like, Valve did a really good job at making this look really, you know, alien. But now, now it's just kind of... The part of the game where most people would agree where it just goes from being really awesome to... Not so great. Because now we're just doing platforming, and... You know, Zen, Zen was like, it just fe it feels really rushed, and it's very short. So like I said before, don't blink. And, wow, that sucked. So yeah, like I was saying, Zen is... A very short, very rushed part of the game, and it will be over in, like, it'll be over before you know it, so, like I said, don't blink. But I play very carefully, so, I don't know, it could be over... quick, or, you know, we could just stay a while, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right, you want to take that platform down? God damn it. Or I could just do this at the cost of 10 health. Some nice gravity. Can't I fucking get up there? Thank you. Yeah, those things are bad news. So they shoot electricity beams at you. Yeah, Zen's got some weird vegetation. Like those weird light plants there. Just take this out. It just it just gets scared when you go up to it. And they also have these healing pools. They make a really cool noise. They make cool noises as well as heal you. So, that's pretty nice. And now we have to go in here and activate these three weird mushroom-like things. And break this apart. So then these things can go into the mushroom things and go in here. So yeah, we saw a bit of Zen in the beginning, and I should say, like I like I said, nothing is native to Zen. Zen is called the Border World for a reason, because everything just comes and goes to it. If I stay in there any longer, I'll just get crushed by those spikes.
Gonark's Lair. And then they have these things that swipe at you if you get too close. Can they? Yeah. And yeah, you might have noticed this thing coming at us. Yeah, this is Gonark. And this is the Mama Head Crab. You just want to fire everything you have. And the way Gonark works is that she just works in phases. I think sometimes she will charge at you and spawn like tiny baby head crabs. Like this weird jungle beat that's like happening right now. Yeah, there she's gonna like spurt like that at you, I guess. I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, that she also yeah, it just like spawns these little tiny head crabs. The reason I'm circling around this like the whole middle of the arena is because you can fall through that. Not even being like at all concerned with the baby head crabs. But maybe I should because they could be a little annoying. at you, whatever. I'm losing a lot of health. Wow. Okay. Are you kidding me? I got to like phase three and I fucking died to a baby head crab. Oh shit. Fuck, I like missed completely. Fuck this shit, dude. Fucking hate Gonark. Hey, I'm gonna save before anything else happens. Finally, we're at phase three. And now she's just gonna jump down. Wow, just screw off. No, let's just let her jump down first. Baby head grabs can fucking eat a dick. Jump down here. I'm gonna let you walk before doing anything. Ow. Yeah, you go down there. Okay, now you have to fight her from below this thing. Below this pit. I don't even care anymore. Fire everything. Oh, then she's going to come down. Oh, she's dead. Like the tree smacked the shit out of her. Oh, God. Babies. Teleport me out of here, please. Oh, they, they came with me anyway. Great. Just, just fucking great. It's 
save. Cause that was that was just horrible. Hope I never see Gonark again anytime soon. Unless, you know, Black Mesa Zen comes out, which it's supposed to. It's supposed to come out this Christmas. And it's supposed to be, like, way different from this Zen. They're not remaking, like, Half-Life 1 Zen. Because they're doing their complete own thing. And the screenshots they actually made were quite fucking pretty to look at. Please die. Who the fuck's shooting at me? You. All it yells. Okay. Oh god, do I have to? Looks like I do. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. So... Don't, don't, uh, fall in there, whatever you do. I think you actually want to go... somewhere over... Yeah, it's through here. Nice hiding spot. Now I'm just gonna sit in this pool and heal. So how are you guys doing? How how has your day been? Mine's been good. Just went to work today. Get to play a bit of Half Life. Finish the series off. It's, um. What else could I talk about? Yeah, I actually played a mod like that came out just last week, too. And it's called Caged, and it's a Half-Life 1 mod. Made by an ex-Valve employee. Uh, I think his name was Kale George or something. So yeah, Mark Laidlaw is not like the only ex-Valve guy to do something Half-Life related. And hi high cop cars. And I keep forgetting I don't have ammo in my assault rifle anymore. Yeah, Caged was really fun, really just fun little, like, 80s vaporwave prison escape mod. Uh, I don't remember what the fuck to do. Oh, yeah. Break this thing. And then this, and then this pillar comes down. Looks like I missed a vort down there. So yeah, this brings you all the fuck up here. And more shit's gonna spawn, God damn it. hate controllers. They suck. It's just really hard to just dodge their projectiles is all. Well. 
See, do I have to... Do I have to make a leap of faith? Oh, no, it's coming closer. Ugh. Yeah, Zen is just a lot of more puzzle solving and just platforming as a really quiet, well, except for Gonark, of course. It's just a really quiet part of the game. And, you know, patience is key. I have to be doing something wrong. I'm losing like 10 health every time I jump onto these platforms. Now, where the hell are you? There's an ammo thing down there. That's really tempting. Oh, there he is. It's that vort that I missed earlier. If I can, like, get my fucking crosshair dead center on him, that'd be nice. I think I missed a lot of chances. Except that one. Kind of forced that. Ride the manta ray until you get close enough to the next portal. Wouldn't he say you all die? I think that's what he's supposed to be saying here. Oh yeah, you know, five, five rounds. That's very helpful in my time of need. But yeah, I th you know, no need to be a downer, Nylanth. Some grunts here. Just take those out. I think this is actually one of few parts of the game where the Vortigaunts are neutral because they're just too busy working on these things. Yeah, they're just doing things. Oh, but those ones are mad. Do I want to go in there, actually? Well, seems that I'm gonna have to piss them all off anyway. Yeah, I think this is just more ammo and there's like a healing pool over here, which actually let's go to. Oh god, I jumped way off. Alright, let's actually jump to it properly this time. What a nice, relaxing alien healing pool. Oh god. Just, like, more ammo and stuff in here. Got more suit batteries. Yeah, all these ammo things like ammo canisters and suit batteries are obviously just being left behind by the scientists who ventured out here and died. Because like I said, they knew about Zen before this. They were experimenting with teleportation, aperture competition, borealis, yada yada. I thought a... I thought a gargantua was supposed to come through here. No. Am I thinking of a different cave? 
I think this way just goes to the tentacle, which I don't want to go to. Plus, I don't have to heal. Oh yeah, he's right there. Oh, oh god. Get our rocket out. Oh no, 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 no. Get, get the fuck off of that. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here. The hell? Did he, like, lose where I was? Yeah, come come out here. Heard a smack back there. I think you can actually get those trees to like smack the shit out of them. Yeah, you can like just basically trap them there. Let's actually also toss a couple rockets his way. God damn it. That's coming over here real quick. Yeah, can you like stay there and just get fucking ass whooped by that, these weird trees? I'm not even sure if this will even work on him. Just throw fucking satchels at his ass. Well, that seemed to work. Very, very nice. Well, we got a bit more ammo for our assault rifle, but that's still a far cry from what I'd like to have. Oh. Another, like, snark nest. Well, okay, that's dangerous. Would have been sweet if I was able to jump all the way across. But no, I gotta deal with tentacle guy. up here. Ow, ow, I didn't know they were that close. Yeah, pay attention to those. You know, th this uh, top path over here is none of your concern. Okay. More grunts. I think there's one behind this rock, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Zen just goes by really quick. And now the Nylanth is saying we're not alone. Of course we're not alone. We're on a fucking alien world. Oh yeah, I think these Vortigaunts are completely neutral here too. So you get a freebie for this room. Just wanna wait for this thing to come down. There's actually a healing shower here too, so 
I'm gonna use that to my full advantage. Hello, Vortigaunts. How are you? I'm glad you don't want to kill me this time. And I fucking fell down here. Yeah, that was just, like, awful elevator fail before. Now, I think we are good. We just want to go along this elevator, try and squeeze. Because that's not a healing pool, that's a burning pool. And now the vorts are mad at you again, so... Now you gotta be careful once more. And I'll also avoid being crushed by barrels. I think this is the last room before the boss, too. Just right before the Nylanth. Those fuckers are ugly up close. It's like, oh god. Are you kidding me? I have to do all that shit again? I have one HP left. Can I do this on one HP? I don't think I can. Like, this is actual torture at this point. Well, I do hear a healing pool nearby, so... I could use it. Is it, like, this way? No. Not that way at all. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save like a fucking baby a whole lot. Yeah, screw you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh thank god health. Okay. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? I'm gonna throw a satchel there. Blow that up with the shotgun. And then detonate that. And then I think I can just squeeze through here. Oh god, there's more vorts. And I think more control. What the fuck? You are not killing me this time. Or maybe you are, maybe you are. Holy fucking shit. I'm just gonna throw grenades in there like a maniac. Oh no. Well, ugh. Yeah, you won't fucking get me this time. I'm in your healing shower now, bitch. Okay. Well, I hear more things. 
but I'm pretty sure those are just the grunts in those fucking eggshells. It's like we're just going through like the alien alien grunt factory, because I think that's just what's in all these eggshells or whatever the fuck they are. Okay, all healed. Let's go through this. It's very red. It looks like we're playing Half-Life on the Virtual Boy now. I guess it doesn't matter which one you fall out of. Oh god. Yeah, this is the last room. So I was kinda wrong for the previous room being the last room. Yeah, I was right, there's another healing shower here. So, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be using these healing showers a lot. Especially since I have no armor. Alright, let's kick some ass. Ow, what the fuck? You're gonna have to make me shower again, you pricks. I'll give you a credit though, your water is very nice. Okay, I think he's up on that elevator there. Jesus. I'm gonna like exhaust all my ammo before I even get to the fucking boss. Oh, why did I... Yeah, I'm not missing my chance again. Save. Even though there's like more murder and death up here. I should just be using the crossbow on these guys. Ah, oh, god damn it, he stopped. I'm just like trying to follow them. Oh god. I just noticed I'm saying like a lot again. Son of a bitch. The fuck? He just absorbed three of my bullets. Oh, wait, no, that's the one I just took. For fuck's sakes. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I'm done with the second floor now. What awaits me on the third floor? Oh, this one seems to go up and down faster. It sounds like there's more controllers. Yeah, not much room to walk on. So I'm just gonna... Oh, there's another healing shower up here. I guess I didn't have to waste my time coming down. Maybe I don't have to take out all the controllers? Well, obviously not. Now I have my next ride. And we're already at the portal, so booyah. Ok, 
Okay, so Nylanth is saying he's the last, and it's not really apparent what he's the last of. Like, what is he? What is he the last of his kind? The last of, you know, the final boss? Yeah, you can also hear various quotes and stuff in front of this hell portal. I'm not hearing any right now. I think they're just really quiet. Yeah, they're all just really quiet. They're all quotes from the test chamber, and I think... I think I also missed a Nylanth quote, too. Maybe... I'm not sure where... or what room it was. But he does at one point say, we are their slaves. And... obviously, Zen... Nothing's native to Zen. Everything escapes here. Because it's the dimension between dimensions. And just that little quote means he's probably the slaves of the Combine. Because the Vortigaunts all have chains on their, them and shit. You are just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous looking. Yeah, make sure you stay behind these rocks. That shit hurts a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, actually... I have no rockets. Son of a bitch. Can I take them out doing this? Because the... Yeah, I can. Sweet. Because these three crystals... All heal the Nylanth. So, yeah, take those out. Save. I'm just... Use all I have. Can I find more ammo? I wonder. What the hell? Did I just. I thought I just got stuck up there for some reason. Oh no. Am I gonna have to show this off? Fine. That's just something he does to extend the boss fight, essentially. It's a really annoying thing that he does. Here, another controller. The teleports do give you a good incentive to retrieve more ammo and stuff. But it's just kind of bullshit that you have to make your way out of these chambers and stuff. Well, you know, thank god I have armor now. Is there just, oh my god, the textures all just blend in together. It just doesn't look good. You might have even noticed that in earlier parts of this too. They, I think, did a lazy job at texturing this. 
Uh, where the fuck are you? Hi. Did I pick up that? Well, yeah, I'm not even paying attention at this point. And I'm getting very disoriented because of all these gross textures. The next platform, get up here. Take me out of this hellhole. The hell, his head is like already open. I didn't know I did that much damage to him. Or he was just opening his head for a brief moment. Wow. But when he opens his head fully, that just means he's getting weak. Yeah, you can avoid the teleports by doing that, too. Let's use the gluon gun on this fucker. Well, first, let's take care of these. Just hide behind this pillar. Should I even be concerned about these? Well, I am now. Where the fuck? They all just disappeared for a minute. Christ. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Because Zen just makes you go through hell. Maybe I can just stand behind this one. Yeah, this seems like to be a better one to stand behind. Glad to have gotten whatever I could out of that. Explosives aren't gonna really do shit. Pretty much everything I have, well besides the shotgun, is either out of ammo or useless. I guess I could just do that. It's also like the highest point up there, but it's hard to reach. And it's just annoying in general. Yeah, his head seems to be opening up more, so he is getting weaker. It's not a very creative boss, it's not a hard boss. Oh shit. I can actually get inside of his head. Let's just smack him with the crowbar. That was quicker than I anticipated. Uh, I'm st I'm what the fuck? I'm stuck inside. <laughs> oh my god, this is not supposed to go down like this. Okay. Well, that makes my playthrough unique. Crowbar ending. Get smacked in the fucking head. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. Well, thank you very much, G-Man. The border world, 
Zen is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. Jeez, stop doing that. Here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended I need my personal space to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. Yeah, I you need my space. You a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal, and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Okay, so now we can do, yeah, we can do like two endings here, so I'm gonna go with the first one. First, I'm just gonna go with the bad one. Yeah, that, it's too green, mm-mm, I don't, I don't like it, I'm gonna stand in the corner here. It looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, that's the bad ending. Subject declined offer of employment. Okay, well, let's do the good ending now. I accept. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Status hired, awaiting assignment. Oh, and like the best credits theme of all time, I tell ya. So yeah, that's it. That's Half-Life. Valve is, or probably was at the time, all these fuckers. I know. Or Kelly Bailey, he did the music. I know who that is. There he is, Mark Laidlaw. Gabe Newell, obviously. Everyone's lord and savior, Gaben. Gotta have him, and I think that's it. Yeah. I could have sworn the credits were longer than that, but they weren't. So that's that's Half-Life. And Yeah, like the G-Man doesn't talk to you until the very end. Because he's supposed to be this mysterious guy. And he just offers you jobs of I guess you could say galactic security. Because, you know, in Half-Life 2 we're fighting the Combine later. That's what I was trying to explain about the Vortigaunts, because they're all in braces and shit. Because they were trying to escape from their homeworld from the Combine into Zen. But, yeah, just you're nuts. I don't think you're supposed to know who the G-Man is. So... What can I say about Half-Life as fi my final thoughts? It is a very charming game. A lot of the stuff you do at the beginning, just all, all this talking to the AI is, uh, that was probably just a really technological advancement at the time. Like, it seem, it just seems, like, trivial nowadays, but back then, just probably messing with NPCs just blew everyone's minds. Um, it tells the story without taking you away from the game. It rarely takes control away from you. It's an ongoing, just flowing gameplay style that I like a lot. And the weapons you use are very interesting. I like some of the enemies, like, except the controllers and the grunts, of course. They can suck a dick. But, uh, yeah, a lot of the weapons are really nice. The game really encourages you to use it all, instead of just using one weapon all the way. 
it really encourages you to figure out what could be the best weapon for the job here. Some of the puzzles are just pretty simple to figure out, I think. Maybe I can see a couple people getting stuck here and there, but other than that, they're not too bad. I think on your first time, it can be an easy game to get lost in. I do like the world that you're basically in. You're just in a giant science facility, Black Mesa. Like, just really cool, cool stuff. Obviously, the Black Mesa remake really emphasizes the detail because there's not a whole lot of detail, but we'll give the original Half-Life the benefit of the doubt because it does its job for the time. It's really good at telling a story. It's really good at being a just really good first-person shooter. And, yeah, I like that you can also get allies to follow you even though they just like immediately die but the ai is just fun to mess around with still i think um well you know zen is just kind of a weak part of the game it's very uh short and very rushed even though i said don't blink because it'll be over soon even though i played it kind of carefully and kind of slowly still really short part of the game. How many fucking times have I said don't blink? This was just essentially the last two hours. You know, Final Boss Nylanth is kinda kinda between the lines of shit and eh. If you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. Because if you just hide behind the rocks, of course, as I've shown, you can avoid most things. But those portals it just feels like it's extending the boss fight to a degree, kind of takes away from the fun factor. Although it is an excuse for you to go get more ammo, so that's really about it. So I think that will do it for my final thoughts on Half-Life, and yeah, Opposing Force is next, so we'll just stay tuned for that.